what's going on welcome back to the channel rookie riches where we do is hustle and find new ways to make money on the street saying online you know what you're looking at today man i'm on my way to the go puff warehouse man you know that old old trusty dusty man you know i've been doing this a couple almost a couple years i man you know just puffing around the city man dropping off snacks making stacks man you know for real but uh, today, you know, go puff if you're interested in being a driver, man. You know, I do little tidbits every now and then, you know. But I, I'm up 100 plus episodes up. Thanks for the love. You know, I'm I'm hyped today, man. I'm feeling good, man. You know, good energy, man, is all I try to give out. It's a good energy, all, all I want to receive, man. But not to get off topic, man. If you work for go puff, you uh, the pay cycle run from Monday to Sunday. You know, 40 orders get you a 40 dollar bonus. You know, I'm, the rest of them is like, you know, they, the bonus thing got so small, I don't even be looking for it. I mean, it'd be a plus to get that little $40. Then you get $30 for uh, 25 deliveries, you know, like 30 deliveries or something like that. Then you get like 20, yeah, you get like 25 for 20, some shit like that, man. You know, it done dropped a lot, you know, but I don't even be tripping because it'd be, it be puffing out here, man. The city been going crazy, man. We've been able to get to a lot of this little money last, last week. I did like eight hundred dollars. I think I did like four, four days. Yeah, I think I did like four days. You know, it was a nice week. It was over twenty dollars an hour. You know, it was like twenty four actually. But you know, man, minus the gas and things like that, it came up to like average of twenty dollars an hour. You know, but uh, yeah, man, we about to get in here and see how much we can make tonight. You find me something to listen to real quick. You know, that's what I do: build and grow. While I'm riding around in this car by University. I'm a little late today. It's five sixteen. I'm supposed to be there at five o'clock. My shift is like 5 to 11, you know, then I'm off tomorrow, come back Wednesday, you know, but I might pull up a slight, you know, tomorrow. Yeah, document the grind, document the hustle, and get back on y'all, man, and uh, I might update every hour tonight, see how much space I got. What's going on, nighttime drivers, man? You know, welcome back to the 6 o'clock update. Man, I've been on the clock for one hour, man, and it's doing all right, man. I can't even cap, you know, um... I caught three deliveries in this past hour, man. Caught three deliveries for $9.75 in delivery charges. Delivery fees we get the $3.25 per delivery times three and $14.38, man, you know, in uh, tips. You know, like I told y'all, my tips been like being more than my my delivery fees, which like especially like last week, I had three days where that happened. That don't usually happen that often. You know, it has happened before, but you know, that's, that was kind of rare, you know. But, yeah, that was a nice way to start an hour, you know, $24 in the first hour on three deliveries. You know, I ain't had to do a lot of deliveries to get that $24 either, you know. But, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on. Matter of fact, I'm about to pull back up to the Puffy shop right now. I do got something planned, man. I'm trying to, uh, I just started two LLCs this past year. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm looking for net 30 accounts that uh, help new businesses you know what i'm saying they report to like these different credit bureaus like i've done in bradstreet experian credit i didn't even know it was a whole separate bureau of credit people man for businesses man like I, all this stuff been learned in youtube university man riding around in this car man for real dropping off snacks i ain't even gonna lie man dropping off groceries when i'm walmart i always got some plan and you know learning man all day you know what i'm saying i just you know endless in this vessel with just knowledge and information, man. You know, I got, I'm like, man, I'm like that Jeopardy nigga, man. They just know a bunch of random ass shit. <laughs> That's me. But uh, yeah, man, right now I'm trying to build this business credit, man. Cause once you get that business credit and you own your house, man, that open up a whole nother level of wealth for, for you, man, for real. Especially if you own your house and then you got your business, you got a couple businesses with great business credit. You can get them six figure loans and things like that. And be able to do some of these, make some of these power moves that these people be making. You know, I just wish I would have knew this stuff sooner, you know. But it's, you know, ain't no time like the present one to hand. Like Prodigy said, man, RP, man, YB. But uh, yeah, one of my favorite rappers too. But uh, yeah, man, uh, that's where we at right now, man. But I'm trying to learn how to build this six figure business credit, man, so I can, boom, trying to buy cars and do all that, man. But yeah, I'm going to get back on y'all in an hour, man, at seven o'clock. But that's where we at. That's what we learning tonight, man. Trying to get this business credit together. What's going on? Welcome back to the 7 o'clock update. You know, I've been on the clock for two hours now, you know. I shift from 5 to 10 a day. 
I just left off for delivery, you know. Way out in the country, man. It be so black out here, man. Like, for real, man. I wish I could show you all this. Like, like somewhere out here in the sticks, man. I'm in, like, Willacoochee, Alabama or some shit. I don't know where I'm at. This should be just dark as hell, man. A lot of the houses, like, spread out. It's like, I don't know, man. Look like something go wrong for a brother out here late. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Anyway, back to the business, man. When I did the last update, I was at $24 and some odd change, you know. Nice way to start the day, $24 on three deliveries, you know. Since then, I only did two more deliveries, man. Took a little cut and paid two, man. Took a little haircut, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I'm at $32 and some odd change right now. So, you know, making still making about $16 an hour. Not, not bad money, you know. You know, like I said, I'm out here educating myself, riding around, dropping these people off their puffy snacks, getting them what they need, <laughs> you know. And I'm learning, man. I'm in here learning right now. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about the business credit. A dude is trying to teach you how to start. He's trying to teach you how you can get a loan to get a fleet of cars, man. If you want to start like a car rental business or stuff like that, you know, or either just a fleet of cars like I just started a courier service so you know so I'm looking to try to see how I can get these loans for these cargo vans and you know, also for other cars you know because I plan to have other drivers too man it's crazy man it all started from this you know these delivery jobs man delivery.com first and I found rope up and I found rope out you know it's just you know, spread the brain man you know like uh just, you know like Richard say on liquid soil Virginia say on liquid soil you know now spark the mental plane just to spark the brain you know but yeah man not to get off topic man we had a uh, 32 dollars man some odd change we're making about 16 dollars an hour not bad money you know and that's what i'm in here learning i'm about to put on a book in a minute though because like i when i watch videos like this i'll be mad i can't take notes because then i like i like going back to them and i ain't really had no time to take no notes and i gotta find me a pen but yeah i'm gonna get back on y'all in an hour man let y'all know where that bread at Trying to find out where I'm at. What's going on? Welcome back to the 8 o'clock update. Man, I've been on the clock for three hours now, man. You know, when I did that last update, I was at $32 on, on four deliveries, I believe. On five deliveries. $16.25 in delivery fees, $15.88 in tips, $32.13. Since then, man, in this last hour, man. Now, mind you, it's I didn't know it was seven drivers up here. Like, I don't they just popped up like roaches, you know, like for real. Like <laughs> when I when I first got here, I only seen one driver up here. But man, I did one more delivery, man, in this past hour, man. Put me at six on the night, 1950 in delivery fees and fifteen eighty eight tip. That last bastard ain't give me a tip, you know, but uh thirty five thirty eight, you know. Hey, man, it's, it's slowed up. We was making 16 an hour now. In three hours, we making a, a little under 12, because 36 would be $12. But we do get that little subsidy. But I'm over the subsidy right now, because the subsidy only nine seventy five now. You know, it ain't that $12. But I remember it was eight fifty when I first started, you know. Remember when I first walked in this warehouse, when I first got here, when we first was opening up, one of the OAs that was there, she was cool, too. She ain't here no more. But she was like, man, we ain't even got paid the last two weeks. So I ain't even start. Like, I could have started the day they opened this shop. But when she told me that, I waited. <laughs> I wouldn't have got a job. I think I worked at one of these factories, like, yeah, order picking. It's order picking on these, like, uh, what's they called? Oh, man, them, them things, they like forklifts, but they like uh, pallet jacks. But they motorized pallet jack, but you ride on them, you pick up the orders. You actually be, I actually worked there where it's like a beverage fa factory where you like package it. Like they might need a 12 pack of Michelob, a 12 pack of Arizona teas. And then you might have to get a eight, eight, two liters of Fago. Like it was one of them beverage factories, you know, man, that was hard on your body, hard on your back. And you never knew when you was going home, man. But I think we was getting 12 50 an hour, man, crazy, crazy. Yeah, I did a lot of type of uh, industrial jobs and you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep it moving. But yeah, man. Right now that's where we at, 35, 38. 
you know, in three hours. I'm listening to this guy right now. He's talking about flipping cars, which is something I always wanted to get into. But up in here in Michigan, you got to have like a dealer's lot. It's different requirements by the state, but uh, I pray you got to have a lot. It got to be municipal zone, not to make it, not just make it sound harder and possible, but it's just a lot of steps you got to go through. Some states you can just apply for it and get it, you know, just be able to go to the auto dealer's license, auto dealer auctions, which is what I'm going to do for a side income. I actually might do a video tomorrow going to the auction we got up here, which is a public auction, see if I can find me a car for about 1500 to flip. If you watch my vlog, like I think my number ninth vlog one of the vlogs i had a car that i bought and i never uh, flipped it i flipped it and i didn't use the money to buy another car which i was supposed to do but not to get off the topic man we hustlers over here it's a go puff grind slow it up a little bit but hopefully in these next uh couple hours it pick up i'm here at 11 it's eight o'clock right now what's going on welcome back to the nine o'clock update man man i'm thinking about going home i just talked to one of the to the OAs, the, the OAs, the people that pass the orders out to us drivers, and uh, man, he said we got seven drivers on. Man, it's like I did one more order, man. He's just sum it up. So like, I'm really thinking about going to skate up out of here. You know, even though I am making nine seventy five for sitting up here, like the last two hours, that's how the subsidy work. Like, uh, if you don't make at least the nine seventy five, they pay you the difference. That's how the subsidy go. You know, uh, for every hour that you didn't make at least 975, that's what you get in the subsidy. You know, if you're interested in signing up to be a puffer, man, you know, I'm, I've been puffer of the year a couple of years, man. But yeah, man, when I did the last update, I was at, uh, I think, $35 and some change. Uh, since then, man, I did another one delivery. Shit, man, one delivery, dude. I done put 25 miles on my car, putting me at seven on the night. Twenty-two seventy-five in delivery fees, nineteen eighty-seven in tips, forty-two sixty-two. <laughs> After four hours, man, you know we making over minimum wage, man. You know, hey, and I'm in here learning, building, growing, man. You know, I might stay these next couple hours. I don't really, uh, I got stuff to do. I can go do some things at home, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really trying to figure it out. If not, I turn the camera back on. Uh, I'm, I'm right across the street actually it's just the parking lot so packed i'll just sit right here up somebody leave up i'll go over there <laughs> for real that's how i've been playing it like because it's, it's like real it's too many drivers There's people parked in the back on the front i'm like it might be more than seven people here no i didn't think it was going to be that many because i seen two shifts go up like i think it was a 10 to 2 shift that like somebody dropped and then it was a night, but that ain't even 10 o'clock, so I don't I don't know what's going on right now. And then it was another shift from like uh three to three to eight that somebody had dropped. I don't know if somebody picked it up or not. But yeah, man, that's that's where we at right now, man. It's looking sad fish sandwich, man. You know, forty two dollars. That ain't really no lot of money. But like I said, I'm in college right now. I'm on YouTube University. You know, expanding my mind, learning some things. You know, I got then these nights I'd be able to take notes. Like, you know, I was able to take a couple of notes on uh, a couple of them videos that I listened to. You know, um, matter of fact, I had started this book. I need to get turn it back on. The books be having me zoned out. I'd be forgetting I'm at work. But I was listening to this book called The Success Principles. I ain't even dropped these notes. I don't believe earlier. In the, I don't know. I'd be stoned. But uh, Success Principles by uh jack canfield he wrote chicken soup for the soul <clears throat> um you know i don't know if y'all familiar with that jack canfield success principles yeah it says how to get is the book is called the success principles how to get from where you are to where you want to be man that's me in a nutshell 100 you know what i'm saying but he had a couple notes that i did write down I just been sporadic all over the place tonight. I ain't going to lie. But he said, Thomas Edison said this. If we did everything that we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Yeah. Imagine if you could just tap into that everything you know how to do, man, and, and be able to really just do it. Like, I don't know if y'all ever seen Meteor, man, but it was like uh, he had the power where he could touch a book and uh, he could, like, 
know everything in that book. He can do anything from that book and all of that. He, like they touched the karate book, he was able to do like karate like Bruce Lee. Like you know, I don't. I, I ain't trying to get too far off the topic, man. But we only making forty two dollars right now, so why not split for a minute? You know. But uh, yeah, that's what I equate that to, man. Like it astound you if you was able to tap into everything that you ever learned and knew. Anybody, like anything that you ever saw, like you, you could just instantly tap into it and do it. Like, man, that'd be amazing for real. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And that's on the mental and physical level, you know, straight up. <clears throat> but he also gave this other tip, uh, this other uh, quote by Brian Tracy. That's my own boy, too. He, he got he talk a lot about goal setting and all that. I've been listening to Brian Tracy seminar books, all of that. Talk about sales, a lot of that. But he said, life is like a combination lock. Your job is to find the right numbers in the right order so you can have anything you want. Man. man. Powerful, man. For real, man. Imagine if you could turn your life like how you uh go past the six or come back to the six. Uh, pass it in to the 22. Man, imagine if you could like have your life like that, man, where you could just you know what I'm saying? You figure out the right code for your life and then it just be like, oh, you got the 30 man contra code. <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start. But I'm gonna get back on y'all, man. Uh, I might stay the 11 if not, man. You know, this is gonna be the last clip of the night, man. Document the grind, document the hustle, but we have $42, man. If I don't come back on, I'll be back Wednesday. But you know, I'm about to turn my book back on, man. My mind, right?